What's up, BoopTube? Josh here today, and today I'm going to go over something that very few people on my YouTube channel know that I do. Um, some some may, some may not, but uh, I do uh, uh, data analysis for our for the race team that I that I work with. And today I'm going to talk about um, AIM's new Race Studio 3 beta version that they just recently released, I think like a week or two ago. And uh, so, without a further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to break it down to the bare basics. You can skip forward in this part of the video um, if you know if you already have the program downloaded or if you know how to do this. So first of all, AIM Sportline downloads. Um, takes you straight to the website that you need to go to and gets you to where you need to be. So they have the main current public release, which is uh, the Race Studio 3 32.12. Uh, um, you want the version below it for the beta version, which is uh, version 3.5. Um, this currently isn't a public release, um, it's for trial only, so you know. Use use at your own discretion. Uh, it could crash and cause data corruption and all sorts of other stuff. So it's a good idea to you know maybe make a backup folder for whatever um, folder you're looking at when uh, using the the beta version. So go ahead and click download, pop up window, save file. I don't I'm not going to do that. I've already downloaded it. Um, then you come up to your downloads. Depending on if you're on Google Chrome, Mozilla, Internet Explorer, whatever. Click uh, run, and uh, once it runs, then it'll ask you where you want to install it. Install it on your normal drive. Click next, blah, blah, blah. It'll do a whole bunch of other stuff. If you have Race Studio 2, it'll automatically update it as well, and uh, all the race analysis programs. But once you get that all done, then, you, uh, then you're going to want to actually boot the program. So when you boot the program, get this nice new screen race studio 3 um, it's actually pretty nifty it used to just boot you right into the configuration screen but it's nice to have that that nice new opening so you'll notice up at the top that you have all your same basic buttons except there's now a v3 I call it a v but it's actually the analysis symbol 3 so this is the new um, the new portion of the program and uh, you go ahead and click that and it's going to take you straight to this window which is where you access all of your um, files and data from and it's going to pop up and say um, it doesn't do this if you've already had stuff installed if you if you don't have stuff installed then this window should pop up and it's going to ask you if you want to import a folder or a file it gives you the option um, I save all of my data into folders so I can pick whichever folder I want and since I know that there is data and video footage in this folder I'm going to select that folder and it's automatically going to import everything and sync any any video footage that you might have yes you heard me correct if you have a smarty cam and it's GPS correct and it's logging data along with video footage at the same time even if it's old it should still sync it together and you can view all of it together so this stuff, as you can see by some of the dates, is from February of 2019, and it still syncs the video footage with the data, which is amazing. So once you get all of your data downloaded, you have an option to show only the data that has video sync, uh, synced with it or show all data, all data. So since all of this has video footage, <clears throat> I'm able to see all of it whenever I click on it. Your next one allows you to view um, the footage based on when it was taken so um, and that's just you know so I had a run run time from 8 until 9 30 on the on Saturday the 16th and 8 th uh, 8 to 9 30 on the 17th and then some from 3 30 till 4 30 so that's just a quick overview of the amount of data that you have loaded obviously the open folder um, to view the analysis, but we're going to go back to the other thing first. Then you have uh, change your selected properties. Uh, currently, if you change the properties for something that you have selected, it adds another column over here instead of just changing what's highlighted. It 
sticks it into its separate one, so be mindful of that. And then also your erase button. So with that, you can click on these different folders, which are different run sessions. So all of these different amounts of laps are when the power was cycled on and cycled off. Um, or this ran into the video limit, and so it rolled over into this. Same thing here. This ran into the video limit, so it rolled over into this. Um, and same with these two. So you can click on one, and it pulls up all of your uh, <clears throat> video, all of your data over here, and it just gives you a quick little overview with a graph down here. Um, you can tell it, you know, if you want it to show something else, you can tell it, oh, I want it to look at this instead of that. Um, so currently it's showing speed. Speed is a very good indicator of why you ran a fast lap versus the rest. Um, so with this portion of the section, my fast lap is here. So since I have it selected, it is the blue line. But if I go and hover over any of the other laps, it shows me a red line. And that correlates with the rest of the data that's down, down there. And it shows where that line falls in the data. So some of them, if you're you know really slow, you might have been stuck behind a car or something on that lap. Or you might have been under caution or something. So And you can uncheck these willy-nilly to pull out outlayers like see it automatically pulled the 38 second one because it was like hey that's way too far out of its range that shouldn't that shouldn't be a lap um, so you can see it's got two minutes up in here and it has these unselected because I actually started this uh, session it was raining and it quit raining about half an hour to 45 minutes through the session and that's when the, dra the track started dry up so you can see as I'm ticking laps away it's picking my times are picking up let me actually just there you go let's do it by lap so you can see I started with you know very crazy lap times these are probably uh, under caution and then this is the first actual lap lap four and then you can see the times start to pick up as the track dries out uh, I think it had to come in here because our windshield was fogging up and then uh, slowly pick up time, pick up time, get faster, and so on and so forth throughout the session. And you can see that in the in the data down below. Um, let's see here. So with that, uh, let's say I wanted to view um, oh, I don't want it to view those. Let's click off of that. Let's go back. Okay, there we go. So, um, now that I know I want to view this, uh, let's do this one. This lap session, since, this ain't, since it doesn't have a bunch of laps, you can double click on it or you can click the open folder and it will take you to the actual race analysis screen. Um, you can see you get you have your normal channels over here on the left that you would normally get with, uh, with your laps. Um, I'm going to actually close that one that way that's only one in wideness so you can see. So you can see that uh, um, here's the beginning of this lap. This is my fastest lap of the race. Um, uh, but you've got your analysis, uh, your graphs and everything, and you know you can put them all into one, show them on two, show them on uh, put them on each individual. I usually individual. Um, you can change your your graph from uh, distance or or uh, or time. Um, I always have it set to distance. That way, it doesn't throw off uh, uh, your location. And you can hit play and uh, watch your video go. Um, and add laps to it. So you can come over here and say, oh, I want to see why I was slower this lap. And come back over and you can see, looks like we were losing a bit of data in here somewhere. Oh no, that's just the RPMs. So I might have been in a higher gear one lap and a lower gear the next lap. That's what it looks like. So 
and you can you can see the lines clearly being ran. Um, from here, you know, it's it's your your basics um, of everything that you use in race analysis too. It's pretty much the same. Um, uh, there's not, I mean, you can clearly, you know, drag and drop stuff and see different highlights and click where you want to see how your uh, your big differences and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so at this point, um, you know, play with it at your own risk. See if you like it. See if you don't. Um, if you have any questions or anything, leave a comment down below, and I'll be respond. Uh, be sure to respond to it. And uh, if you uh, if it's uh, something that merits a video on how to do it or to explain something, I'll definitely uh, record another video like this and show you how it's done. But uh, other than that, guys, um, Josh here. Uh, I'm gonna sign off and uh, see you in the next video. Thanks.